Hey there, my name is Dustin with Airwave Technologies and today we're going to show an instructional video of frequency coordination on eight channels of Airwave RF with one channel of Shore using the RF Explorer from RF Venue and Shore's wireless workbench. Let's go see how we do this. So to get started, we're first going to use RF Explorer for Window, which you can download for free on the internet. You always want to make sure you have the RF Explorer plugged in when you start. So we have 500, 600, and we want to make it um, average. So we're going to uncheck real time, and we're going to export this as a CSV file. So you do file, export single CSV file. And we're going to save that. Today we're going to do Airwave demo. Now that we have that saved, we're going to go over to Shore's wireless workbench and we're going to start a new show. You can download this from the Shore website. It's Wireless Workbench 6. New show. Show name we're going to call this is Airwave. in all the other information but you really don't need to so st step one on here is to go to frequency coordination and we want to play with the screen a little bit so we can see this a little better and we're going to import our scan first which is over here under scan data so you do import from file and Airwave Demo 1, which is the scan that we just did. Remember, if you're doing scans at different times of the day, they can sound totally different. So you always want to do a recent scan, just in case somebody set up shop next door using some wireless microphones or wireless devices. So we're going to open this, and all of our uh, data is going to be right here on the screen. So we go to uh, over here where it says add frequencies. We go to manufacturer and we scroll down to Airwave Technologies. If Airwave Technologies does not populate in your uh, wireless workbench software, give us a call or an email and we, we can send you the user profile to get it put in there. Next, you're going to go to 4000 and, and under frequencies, you're going to do all. Next, you want to say how many devices we have there here. Um, hold on. You have to press all right there. Under the devices, we're going to do eight because we have eight channels. These are primaries. We can also put backup frequencies if you wanted to. So you're going to see right here we have eight channels of airwave. And next, we're going to add the shore. So on the shore, we're going to have go down here to shore. PGX is a series, and the frequency band was, I think, L5. And this one, we have one channel of that. So you always want to make sure whatever you have in the room is here so you can coordinate it with each other. So if you have an existing system with Shore, or Audio Technica, or Sennheiser, you always want to make sure you list all of those. You're going to have to look up and figure out which frequency it is so you can uh, coordinate all those. Next, we are going to hit the calculate button right here and then also analyze. So analyze, calculate. And you're going to see here on the bottom of our screen that all these frequencies popped up um, for airwave. We have 522.050, 520.750, and so on and so forth. So uh, if you had a shore system, they would actually tell you uh, group two channel nine and frequency number 660.5. On, on any other manufacturer other than shore, that doesn't work. So you're gonna have to do the cheat sheet that we have on our website. So on our website under the wireless, we have our frequency coordination chart. 
So it'll tell you that group one, channel one is 514.000. So for example, 522.050, we look up for 522. 050 is gonna be uh, channel seven, group six. So we go over here to our wireless and we're gonna do set for a few seconds. Six, channel, what do we say, seven, set. So we also want to make sure our RF power is at uh, low. RF power is right there, which is one bar, which is low. That's good. Everything else looks good. Next, we're going to take our first transmitter, and we are going to unscrew the battery cap, put the IR window here. That's the IR sender. We hit the ASC button and we turn the power on. And one, two, three, voila, check one, two. You can see as I'm talking into the microphone, the AF bars are going up. That means we're synced. So let's go ahead and repeat this channels two through eight. So now that we've coordinated all eight channels based on our chart on the website to the chart that's on wireless workbench, if we go back to our RF Explorer, you're going to see peaks at all the little um, all the little frequencies. If we wanted to, we can actually zoom in on that. So, for example, this frequency is 520.750. So we're going to do 519 through 521. Right here, we're gonna see we're gonna see this one right here at around 520 where we have this one here. So this this one's located at 520.750, and you see the spikes also on the chart right here. 520.748. So that, that's that's this one right there. So if I turn this off, you're gonna see that go down right there. If, when I turn it back on. You're going to see it spike right back up, and that's how you know that you're working. Also, if this mic was not working, you would look at adjacent frequencies and see what other frequencies are going on, and that's how you also solve problems. My name is Dustin with Airwave Technologies. If you have any questions, please contact us through our Facebook page or our website, airwavetechnologies.com.